Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am The Gentleman and welcome to another episode of The Gentleman's Pixel Club. Today's episode is very different and what we're going to be doing today is a tutorial video on how to compile the PlayStation Core for the Mr. FPGA. We won't be running any games, but we'll be building the core from scratch. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download Quartus Prime Light Edition. The URL is going to be in the link below, but be sure you get the Light Edition version 17.1. And this is the web browser that you actually download it from here. The next thing we're doing is we're downloading the Mr. FPGA files to actually compile within the compiler that we've downloaded on the previous web page. You click on the download link here, and from here, you download the zip file. And with that zip file, we'll be able to build the RBF core file for the PlayStation. Next, we need to get a boot ROM. Now, I'm not gonna show you the links where to get this for copyright reasons, and this needs to be renamed when you put it into the Mr. FPGA at the end, but this is the file you need to do a search on. So type that into Google, click on search, and away you will go. Once you've downloaded all three files, you'll be in a download folder like this. Right click on the file shown and choose extract. I use WinRAR for my extraction. You can use other tools like 7-Zip, stuff like this, but this works absolutely fine for me. Throughout this video, uh, some of the install takes quite a bit of time to do. I speed up some bits, not other bits, but I want you to see this live, the extraction, so you know what to expect. It takes a few moments, but we're nearly there. We're at 70 odd percent, approaching 100 percent. And when that's done, we will launch the installer program for effectively the compiler that we're going to be used to build the RBF file for the Mr. FPGA. Ignore the setup, go straight into components and click on the file that I've highlighted there. This install follow everything I've shown on the screen. Basically, you accept all the defaults and you move forward, you move forward, and you move forward. I highlight the bottom of it to show you that it's not clicked. That's not a mistake. You pay for that package, but just say next, next, next at every single option you get. When it's finished installing, and it takes quite a while to install, and we use the power of video editing to skip forward a little bit here, as you see on the screen right now, there's additional components that need to be installed. And everything I'm doing on the screen here is exactly what you will need to do. I did this live today, and this was the first time that I've ever done this. And part of the reason I wanted to show this was to show how to install the core, how to build the core, because I've never done it before. And I wanted the experience that if I'm doing it, hell, let's just share it with you as well. This is gonna take about 20 gig on your hard drive to install, it's a really, really big install. I've actually removed it now, I've installed it and built the core, but those of you that will be keep going to GitHub to download the latest version, you may actually wanna find yourself keeping this on your system or installing it into a location where you've got plenty of space because it certainly does eat up a hell of a lot of room. This install takes a little while um, and you have a couple of additional components to do. We're doing one of them now and I'm talking over the top of this because I've kind of edited the video to bring it together. There should be another component that's going to come up in a moment to do a bit of an install as well. And I believe this is the USB type driver if you were going to be connecting physically to a uh, FPGA device to do this. But as I say, all of this is exactly as you see on the screen. I've cut out nothing crucial. All I've cut out is very long weights, very long bars, to bring you all the code as it installs, all the applications and all the programs as it installs as well. We should be nearly there now. It's progressing right to the end. It's just jumped forward a little bit. And I wanted to keep the last bit there just so you could see it in its entirety. And this should be the last module that's installing. Again, you haven't seen me have to configure anything. You've just seen me do next, next, next. Basically accept every single option that is there so we're nearly done now and i turn off launch because i don't want it to launch straight away and i end the install at this point and it's actually got one last component it does right at the end so when you see this jump up this is normal this is what happened for me as well 
So now that is installed, we go back to downloads and we extract the files that we downloaded from GitHub. So I'll right click, extract to a location and everything is where we want it. Go into it and the PlayStation file that I highlight there, you double click on that to launch and it will open up the compiler program here and this is what you're seeing on the screen. This is uh, the Cultus Compiler Prime. So follow what I do here, where I basically click on the, the building of this in a moment. So I go to Processing and I do Start. And it starts to build. This takes a hell of a long time. This took me, uh, I think it was at least over half hour to do. I skipped forward in time to do this, but you get messages in the bottom of the screen scrolling up. I read that if you try and install the later version of this application, because this is 17.1, there is a 20 version as well, it doesn't work. But this does go through. You get some yellow warnings that you see as it scrolls up, but you get no errors, you get no showstoppers. On the bottom right hand side, and keep an eye on that time because it does go forward as I, I move the video forward on the install that we're doing here, um, you see how long it ultimately takes and it just finished compiling there. The file that is created, the RBF file that you now see on my desktop is put into the output folder of the file that you unzip to compile. So within the output folder, it creates a PlayStation.RBF. You take that file from there. The desktop you can see boot.rom, that is the renamed BIOS that we downloaded that I didn't show you the location to do, but these are the two files that you need. So the BIOS gets boot ROM that gets copied into games at PlayStation, and the RBF file is going to get copied into the location that you're just going to see in a moment of consoles. So we move that across right now, slowly but surely. And now this is ready for us to fire up on the mist of the highlighted PlayStation to RBF is the freshly compiled file. And this is all the steps there is to it. It takes time, but I wanted to give a visual demonstration of what we're doing here. So we're now going to switch to the Mr. FPGA. So PlayStation screen at the moment, but there's a slight toggle in the background as I'm loading in the Mr. FPGA, getting it booted up so you don't see all the boring stuff here. And we're eventually on the menu. Ignore GS data underscore. That's my backup. I have it on a synced backup, so I back up everything to ensure that I, I don't lose any important data. So drop down to console. And we go mess about trying to find where we are. And we go into PlayStation. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've not compiled a core, that is how easy it is. This is the PlayStation core on the Mr. FPGA freshly compiled on my system. And I've taken you literally through everything you need to do this. Links will be in the description for the repository, the Intel program you need to download for the compiler. You will probably need to register your yourself on there, but it's a quick and easy registration to be able to do this. This takes no technical ability to be able to do all it takes is time on a pc we're not going to be running any games here but hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video would you like to play again hello there just a quick word from me if you're a subscriber to this channel thank you very much honestly it means the world to me and the world to harun that i'm holding harun would like all of you to be subscribers to this channel and if you are this far through the video and you haven't subscribed but you feel that i have earned your subscription through the content that you've seen so far please please consider subscribing it makes me happy it makes her run happy and when her runs happy everybody's happy thank you very much stay safe take care goodbye